There are some real degenerates out there with money to burn. Now, what if I told you if someone spent $50,000 in a single video game, you might even think that's not a lot. You know, if you consider stuff like CSGO keys, Genshin Impact, any kind of gacha games where people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes. But what if I rephrased the question and said, if someone spent $50,000 on a single Gary's Mod server? You know, Dark RP, th those game modes where you can like LARP as a police officer to act like you have some kind of superiority in life. <laughs> There is someone that has spent $50,000 in a single server, not across Gmod, a single server, just to basically feel better than everyone else. It is insane how quick you can burn through money on this server. Let's say you wanted to import a car into the game, like for example, KSI's purple wrapped Lamborghini. You could be paying up to $500 just to import that model into the game. And then if you're not active enough on the server, they can take it away and make you pay for it again. It is truly the definition of insanity. Disclaimer, the people mentioned do not deserve to be harassed. Maybe they do. So the other day I was going through the cesspool that is my Discord message requests and I saw that someone had sent me a link to Gaming Light's top donators leaderboard. Now if you've seen some of my videos oh, I'm sure I got flash you know that I'm familiar oh, with man. this police RP server. It's three in the morning. Oh, man. What the? Okay. Really, man? Really? Wow. What was that wow. for? I have it on oh, clip wow, as really? well. I have it on clip as well. So when I clicked on. <laughs> Why do they always sound like that on Gmod, man? They sound so monotone and bored. I have it on clip as well. I'm going to show it to the admin. You're going to get banned. The top donator had 46,000. <laughs> how do you, how do you like spend that much, man? If it's like, okay, I know people that like, they're legitimately addicted to like gacha games, right? And they'll spend like, X amount of money, like thousands or tens of thousands, right? Like it's basically a borderline gambling addiction. People that buy like CSGO keys or they play roulette. Train wrecks at three in the morning doing slots like, we're gonna win big. But like how, you, there's only so many things you can buy on a dark RP server. Yeah, Genshin players, so true. Now I wasn't sure if this was dollars or maybe in-game credits or something like that. So I tried asking on the Gaming Light Discord, which I was promptly banned from. <laughs> I like that. He wasn't even snide about it. Eh? He just asked a genuine question. Banned. <laughs> but then I tried asking the top donator themselves, which we're going to be calling Moby for the rest of this video. Thing is, I've seen people like this before. You do have these like whales that just have millions because of like, you know, trust fund money, parents, or they're legitimately in their 30s and 40s and they, they're they in IT and they just have a lot, a lot of money. So what is this? But my friend request was denied and they never responded. I guess I shouldn't be surprised by this because uh, he called an admin sit when someone joked about him money laundering. Luckily, I was able to get into contact with a longtime staff member of the game. Imagine money laundering through Gary's mod. That is the highest IQ strat I've ever thought of in my life. But also, if you get caught, that would be very embarrassing. You'd have so many YouTubers making like videos saying how like he tried to money launder it through Gmod. Gaming like community. They told me that it is in fact $46,000, not credits. In fact, they actually used to have a dollar sign in front of the top donators leaderboard. That, I can't even tell what that is. Fairy profile picture. Fairy profile picture. I uh, forget what that show is. SpongeBob Weed. That, that just looks like an actual picture of the guy's face. 4K on Gary's mod. Bro, just do what everyone else does. Join a Gmod server, clip five people, and then get banned, and then join the next one. The, the, the furries, I can understand, because like, if you're, if you're a furry and you spend this ridiculous amount of money, it's always the case that they're 30 and they work in IT and they're just fucking minted. The second one has an Undertale profile picture. <laughs> okay. Makes a bit more sense. But they actually removed it, I guess, to create more ambiguity to make people think maybe it's credits, maybe it's money. So they don't really know the total amount that the person's donated. So it makes me ask the question, what the f*** was this person spending all their money on? So I went to the Gaming Light store page and oh boy, there's some uh, great items up for store there. We've got the I like your cut G swept. For Wait, eight credits? So that would mean eight pound or eight dollars, right? Juicy vape for 20 credits, by the way. Look at that. Look at that graphic design is my passion. I like how it says e-cig on the side. If you couldn't tell, it was an e-cig. Great. And tickle your fancy, you can get the Bart Simpson. <laughs> Bart Simpson dab for 10 quid.
And he's got Yeezys on and off-white shorts and a bait hoodie, man. But if you want to know the real big ticket item that Mobius spent the lion's share of the $46,000 on, it's the custom job package for $100. Well, you may be asking, how do I know all this? Well, Gaming Light actually requires you to make a public forum post whenever you've purchased a custom job package to get it approved. So we're actually able to see Moby's full purchase history on custom jobs from the 17th of June 2018 to the 15th of December 2020. He paid $250 for a car. He paid $250 for a car and a paint job on the car. Man! And after individually checking all 934 of his posts, I've worked out that in total, Moby has spent roughly $35,000 on custom jobs over the past four and a half years. The thing is, I kind of respect it, right? Because it's like, how do you find that much money to waste on Gmod? If it was something like Genshin Impact or like some gotcha thing, like, like I get it, I, I get it, right? Because there are so many people that actually do that. But such an old game, it's so bizarre. So you might be thinking, does Moby just have 350 custom jobs on the server? Well, no, the money actually goes to all the additional fees associated with creating a custom job. Also, I do want to say like, fuck the mods of this server because they are obviously taking advantage of someone like mentally impaired. There is no way you're spending 35K on a Gmod server and you you are you have full mental clarity. Oh boy, they they are some great deals. Player models can cost anywhere from a hundred dollars. Forty five megabytes. $300. So I could upload the fat pyro mod I shown off on stream on accident. And then, oh fuck. And I'd have to pay $300. Car models are even worse. $600 to get a car. You get like KSI's wrapped like Lamborghini and then you stick it in Gmod, you gotta pay $600. They try to justify these insane prices by claiming it's due to preserve the performance on the server, which is a load of do you really expect people to believe that a five megabyte model would cripple the server to the point where you should charge people $25 per megabyte? I don't know what's worse, the price gouging or the fact that they've found an audience to price gouge off. Because it's not like they're just charging, you know, like those games on Steam that are like $1,000 and no one buys them, like it's a meme. Like I, I, I did a video on it and I never actually bought the game. If you'd like to increase your walk speed. Oh my God, nah, you're joking, bro. You're joke. what is that, man? Not even, okay. Okay, okay. Not even by two times. You're not doubling your walk speed. You are doing a 1.2 times multiplier. So you're making yourself 20% faster. You're paying $20 to make you 20% faster. Police riot shield, $20. It's like it's a modern warfare pre-order. Grenade, $20. $20 for a grenade. And I thought the buy rates in CSGO were bad. 1.2 times. You have to pay $20. If you want to make some minuscule changes like altering the color, name, or description of your custom job, yeah, that's going to set you back $10 each. Someone in chat said EA in Gmod. <laughs> So true. Okay, let's take a look at one of Moby's forum posts. This is probably one of my personal favorites. Here we can see Moby spent $400 to change the player model of one of his custom jobs called Secret Agent Zoe. And you're gonna love this. Secret Agent Zoe is an ex-secret agent that is now wanted by the FBI and the Secret Service due to the fact that she knows everything of what the government has done and has their own private web browser of every Look at this, is that wrote by a 12 year old? Look at that grammar there. Single information of decades of the government, which even the FBI nor secret service agents can crack. This was wrote by someone who has English as their second language, or this was wrote by a 12 year old, a 12 year old that somehow managed to scam everyone. Down and get into the system themselves. Now you may be wondering what is this grammatical nightmare? Ah, uh, this is Moby's custom description that he paid $10 on. Wait, he paid money to write that? Well, $400. Let's take a look at what secret agent Zoe looks like. Oh, oh, and it's even complete with jiggle physics too. Absolute f***ing cancer. So now that 35,000... Wood would some of this can be explained by other purchases on the store such as knives sweeps vapes golden weapons for a hundred dollars for some reason <laughs> legends trident bro this looks like it's from a mobile game look at this legend boxing gloves a hundred and ten dollars four hundred dollar workshop okay i wouldn't i wouldn't i, I would if for free four hundred dollars i'm good but i can assure you that this is not where the lion's share of the eleven thousand dollars went in fact it went to something called custom job auctions well what are custom job auctions 
options. Well, to explain what a custom job option is, I must tell you the definition of what permanent means on a server like Gaming Light. You see, all these custom jobs have the word permanent in the title, but Gaming Light likes to use the word permanent a little loosely to say the least. In their disclaimer before you purchase anything on the store, they outline that the word permanent refers to the length of time the server is active. Okay, makes sense. As long as the server exists, your custom job exists. I don't really have a problem with that. That makes perfect sense. But this isn't the case at all. In fact, permanent actually can range from the end of the server's life to whenever gaming light feels like it. I found this little nugget of information on the forum post. According to the lead account manager at Gaming Light, permanent is only relative to when you're actively using the purchased product. Otherwise, it's sold off or removed. So you spend hundreds of dollars getting your like big chested booba woman into the game and then it just gets removed because they said, oh, we got to do, we got to do server restart. Sorry. It, you could pay another $400 though. It's not on the disclaimer before buying in the store and it's <laughs> just classic, classic Gmod here. Just the HEV suit and he's got like an iPhone phone nine it's <laughs> on the disclaimer before buying in the store and it's not in the disclaimers in the <laughs> forum post you have to fill out. The only place I actually found this information was buried in an FAQ forum post. Why you wouldn't show customers this FAQ on the store page is beyond me. But the two extra cherries on top are the extra hidden fees of $20 to get your job back if you're deemed inactive. Wait, no. iPhone 9? Why are you making fun of me? What, what's the latest iPhone? Oh, there was, there, there never was an iPhone 9. They jumped straight to 10. Maybe it's iPhone 8. Oh yeah, it's like an iPhone 8. So they jumped straight from 8 to 10. Do you agree that you will stay active on the job or risk it being sold off slash removed for performance reasons? Which is a blatant lie because I forked over $100 to buy a custom job and not once did it tell me to agree to anything like this. We got, we got to pull one out for our boy, Bob Games. The, the fact that he actually spent $100 on this garbage just to prove a point. All right, here we go. We're buying a custom job. Let's check the details. Is there anything about hidden fees? Anything about inactivity? No, nothing's mentioned here. Yeah. I don't see anything about inactivity. My job will be removed if I'm inactive. No, there's no link to the FAQ on the store page. Uh, you managed to link this forum post though. Here it is. No disclaimer at the bottom about the uh, $20 fee to get my job back or anything about the inactivity. Don't see that anywhere. Yeah, weird, weird. Don't know why you couldn't have linked the FAQ here. That would have been real good. Anyway, maybe there's disclaimers when I add it to cart. Is there any disclaimer when I add to cart? Let's check the cart. No, there's no disclaimer here, of course. But Maybe it's when I is check one it. of the few trolls I genuinely enjoy watching. This guy is in uni and does this for fun. You should look at his other vids. No, I do, I do watch Bob Games. I do. He, he's actually in the, uh, to be honest, he's in the Discord server there. No, he's a, he's a really nice guy. He just has a very weird obsession with Greg Paul. <laughs> is there a disclaimer when I check out? No, I don't see a disclaimer anywhere here about what I'm about to purchase. I don't see any disclaimer here about any inactivity. We have the right to remove this product from you if you're inactive. Maybe it's when the purchase goes through. Let's check out here. No, my payment was successful. Uh, no mention though. So weird. Funny that. In fact, in fact, I actually bought this twice just to double check that I wasn't getting something wrong or something didn't pop up. There is no disclaimer about it. Thanks to their complete ambiguity on what time period constitutes inactivity, they can take your custom job away from you whenever they want. Evident by this forum post, which shows a member asking why his custom job was removed after only two months of inactivity. Which is hilarious to me on two different levels. It's, it's like, if you paid like five dilla and then you get it removed after two months, I, I would kind of understand it, right? Because there'd probably be so many people wanting custom jobs, like, like a queue or a waiting list. I get that. But you're paying like upwards of $100, man. That should at least secure you for a year. Basically, it should be forever. You'd think you'd have the decency to at least inform your customers that are donating hundreds of dollars that their player model see to or must inform your customers that are donating. Sorry, I saw, I saw Soprano at the bottom here. I thought it was like a Tony Soprano bit. I don't get why you would spend this much money on Gmod though. Why not just do it on like GTA 5? But what has this got to do with custom job options? Well, these permanent custom jobs that are deemed inactive are not just removed from the server. No, no, no. That would mean Zeepden can't make any additional money. These custom jobs are instead auctioned off to a select group of players on the server via a Discord server. The Premier Club is a private gaming light -like Discord server only available to players that donated $500 or more. This is where the auctioning occurs. It's actually a piece of grifting genius. Here we can see a screenshot on the server where we can see the lead account manager. They, they put 
the value as 420. They put it as the weed number. You must almost think uh, at some point they just sat in a Discord call laughing at how they're like scamming the mentally ill. This list is almost $4,000 in value. So it's not even buying, it's bidding. So they're trying to just milk as much money as possible. Besides 10 custom jobs, which he paid $4,000 in total for. But seeing as the benevolent gaming light staff are so generous, they're allowing you to buy them all at a discounted price of $2,200. This is a steal, apparently. Dude, I thought I was like sad buying like fucking furry art commissions. I thought that was the lowest you can go. There's there's lower. There's always lower. Holy shit. Only scummy practice. I mean, if the custom jobs are inactive and aren't being used at all, and they've already been paid for fully, why not just release them for free for all the players to use, or at the very least, make them a donor slash VIP only job. I mean, you've already made $4,000. The server storage and creation costs have already been paid for. It couldn't hurt you just to release it as additional content for the players to enjoy. But no, Zeepden finds another way to gouge his player base for money. Getting paid $470 each to implement a custom job isn't enough for him. And they have to resell it again and effectively get paid twice for one custom job. Imagine if you're a big TF2 fan and you buy a team captain hat and you play for a bit, but then you get busy with work or job or school so you decide to stop playing for two months and when you eventually do come back you find out that valve has actually taken your item away from you due to inactivity and has actually resold it to someone in an auction i think it's amazing they managed to find a way to scalp an extra two thousand two hundred dollars off the already four thousand dollars they've made i don't understand how you can cultivate that fan base you can literally scam people and you'll just have these little wriggly worms that just come back and they just will happily fork over their money you would really think that like if you buy stuff you get to keep it i guess my biggest question is what possesses someone to spend forty six thousand dollars on a single gmod server that's a good point that's a good point it's not every gmod server even if it was every gmod server that'd be insane right but like there's one server gmod server these items and packages only apply to a single gmod server they aren't tradable or transferable this would be the equivalent of spending forty six thousand dollars on csgo skins that you can only use on a single community server. Yeah, exactly. Except actually, that would be actually a better scenario because at least you could sell these skins for real world money on the Steam market. I mean, if you're going to spend $46,000 on a Gmod server, wouldn't you just create your own in the first place? It's pretty sad and pathetic that this is how Gmod servers have gone. I remember when it used to just be, oh, we only want donations to cover our server costs. But now it just seems like every single Gmod roleplay server has some sort of microtrans section or extra dlc to shove in your face i think gaming light is the worst offender out of all of them that i've seen i can't wait to see the mental gym i like how the guy that he shot looked like simon from cry fear light is deserved the worst offender out of Just all got him of done. them that i've seen I can't wait to see the mental gymnastics <laughs> Zeepin's gonna do to try i like money number one i like money i like money i like money i like Money. I like money. And justify why he charges these insane prices. No doubt they're going to say that this is, oh, it's expensive to run servers. It's expensive. Oh, I got to hire people to make custom maps and custom skins and stuff. When in reality, you rip stuff from the workshop and charge people to put it into your game. Yeah, it's madness. Gmod will never fail to impress me how mentally ill the player base is. Hey, uh, is this Home Depot? What?